Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a radical equation. A very radical equation, we have the square root and the cube root together. I'll be presenting three methods, even though two of the methods are kind of similar, turns out to be the same thing, obviously. Let's start with the second one. Okay, let's start with the second method this time. So our second method is basically, I'm going to isolate the square root. And that can be written as cube root of x plus 1. And then I'm going to square both sides. So when you square both sides, you get rid of some of the radicals, but not all of them. Let's see. We have x plus 1 here. On the right-hand side, we have a plus b quantity squared. So it's going to look like cube root of x squared plus 2 times cube root of x plus 1. Uh-oh. This is not good because we have cube roots on the right hand side, even if we isolate one of them. So suppose you do the following cube root of x squared equals and by the way, x cancels out. So that's kind of good. If you isolate cube root of x squared and write this as x minus two times the cube root of x, obviously you can cube both sides, right? That's going to eliminate the cube on the left hand side, but it's just going to introduce more radicals. So this is kind of not getting anywhere. So here's what we're going to do instead. So instead of, you know, just uh, trying to cube and square both sides all the time, we're going to use substitution, which makes a lot of sense, right? So we got the following, first of all, x equals cube root of x squared plus 2 times the cube root of x. And it's nice that we don't have any constants here, so that makes it a little easier. So we're going to substitute, uh, replace cube root of x with something. How about z? Okay, and then uh, x becomes z cubed, so and cube root of x squared becomes z squared, so that's nice. Let's put everything on the same side, z cubed minus z squared minus 2z equals 0. 2z or not 2z. Okay, now take out a z, you get z squared minus z minus 2 equals 0, and this quadratic is factorable, z minus 2 z plus 1 equals 0, or use the quadratic formula if you want. From here, we get the three values for z. z equals 0, z equals 2, and z equals negative 1. But remember, z is cube root of x, so let's go ahead and set each one equal to cube root of x. From here, we get x equals 0, and from the second one, we get x equals 8, because think about it, cube root of what number equals 2? The answer is 8. And from here, we get negative 1. So you could also cube both sides to find x. Okay? So those are the three values. Are they all valid? You can definitely test it out, but let's go ahead and do it later. So I'm going to talk about the first method next, because we talked about the second method first. So first method, second. Okay. Our first method is actually, and by the way, let me, um, let me go ahead and rewrite the original problem so you can see where it comes from. Or if you're just watching from here. So instead of isolating the square root, this, this time I'm going to do something crazy and isolate the cube root. Okay. Cube root of x can be written as square root of x plus 1 minus 1. And then I'm going to cube both sides, obviously, right? That should be obvious, kind of. If you cube both sides, you're going to have the cube of a difference, uh, x on the left-hand side, a minus b cubed. So I have a really nice formula that I always use for a minus b cubed. I don't like use the binomial theorem all the time. Uh, sometimes I do, but this is also a nice identity. You can write a plus b quantity cube as a cube minus b cube minus 3ab multiplied by a minus b. If you expand it, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Anyways, if you use that formula, you're going to get the following. Uh, if you cube x uh, square root of x plus 1, that's going to give you x plus 1 times square root of x plus 1. So if you cube square root of a, you get a root a. Make sense? And then minus 1, minus 3 times square root of x plus 1, multiply by square root of x plus 1 minus 1. So I just use this formula, okay? And then you, you expand it, and you get something that looks like this. x equals x plus 1 times the square root of x plus 1, minus 1, minus 3 times x plus 1, plus 3 times square root of x plus 1. And if you expand it, you're going to get to a point uh, where you get something like this. Let me skip a little bit, you get this, if you kind of put the radicals on one side, 
which is uh, nice because now we're going to square both sides because we want to get rid of all the radicals. So let's go ahead and square both sides. And that's going to give us x plus 4 squared, which is x squared plus 8x plus 16. And then that is going to be multiplied by x plus 1. And on the right-hand side, we're going to get 16x squared plus 32x plus 16. Great. And if you arrange all the terms and, you know, simplify this, you're going to get something like this. And then you can take out an x, x squared minus 7x minus 8 equals 0. And this is factorable into x times x minus 8 times x plus 1 equals 0. And from here, you're going to get three solutions just like before. x equals 0, x equals 8, and x equals negative 1. Let's go ahead and plug them in to see whether they work, because we haven't done it with the second method, which we did first. So our original equation is square root of x plus 1 minus the cube root of x equals 1. If you replace x with 0, you get 1 minus 0 equals 1. It's true, so 0 checks. If you replace x with an 8, 3 minus 2 equals 1, that also checks. If you replace x with negative 1, 0 minus negative 1 is also a positive 1, so it also checks. So all three solutions check, which is really cool. When I show you the graph, you're going to have a better idea. By the way, the graph is really interesting. Anyways, let's go ahead and do the third method. And then we'll look at the graph. So my first method um, kind of was kind of terrible, right, wasn't it? Because, come on. Do you want to cube both sides in an equation like this? I mean, if they're all uh, cube roots, fine. But if you have the square root, like if you have the mixture, don't do that. So a third method, in my opinion, is the best, but you decide. So I'm going to use substitution, but this time I'm going to use two variables. So I'm going to call this A, and I'm going to call this B. Why? Why not? <laughs> okay, so A minus B equals 1 automatically, right? But also we get the following results. X plus 1 equals A implies X plus 1, I mean square root of X plus 1, A implies x plus 1 equals a squared, and the cube root of x equals b implies x equals b cubed. Notice that these two expressions differ by 1, so when I subtract a squared minus b cubed, I'm also getting 1 from here. So I get a system, right, in two variables, and I can solve this system by using substitution. How? Uh, well, we can kind of replace a with b plus 1, right? I can replace a with b plus 1 in the second equation. So that gives me b plus 1 squared minus b cubed equals 1. And then if you expand it, you're going to get b squared plus 2b, or not 2b, plus 1 minus b cubed equals 1. 1 cancels out, which is nice. If you put everything on the same side, we get b cubed minus b squared minus 2b, or not 2b, equals 0. If you take out a b, b squared minus 2, not 2b, okay, b squared minus b minus 2 equals 0, and b times b minus 2 times b plus 1 equals 0. From here we get b equals 0, b equals 2, and b equals negative 1, but remember, b is cube root of x, right? So from here we get three solutions as before, and those are x equals 0, x equals 8, and x equals negative 1. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the graph, and we'll conclude. Here's the graph of the difference function, which is kind of interesting, right? It's kind of like a hook, maybe. And y equals 1, they intersect at three points. Therefore, we have three real solutions. Well, thank you for watching. I hope uh, this, uh, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.